Hey, what's up? Sam here. Today we are going to take a quick look at the Redmi Note 12 series. And since I've already done a, you know, first look of the Redmi Note 12, so in this video, we're not going to include that, all right? All right, in this video, we are going to take a quick look at the Redmi Note 12 Pro and Pro Plus. And the video will be in two parts. This video is just unboxing and the first look and the specs walk through, those kind of things. The second part will be the camera comparison. Since the Pro Plus have that 200 megapixel sensor, seems badass, but is it any good? I will just put a dedicated video compared with the Redmi Note 12 Pro. So subscribe if you haven't done yet. The video is sponsored by Geekbank.com. They have uh, uh, promotions right now. Crazy deals, crazy coupons. Please check out the link in the description. Let's get started. All right, let's do the Pro first. Here we have an insert that includes a pin. You know, paperwork, a transparent case, just like any other Redmi phones. <laughs> this is the 67 watts charger and Type C cable, and that's it. We'll move to the phone later. Redmi Pro Plus Note 12. Okay, let's just open it. <laughs> the same shit. <laughs> and then we have the Scanium Nitrogen 120 watts fast charger. And that's the one of the difference between the Pro and the Plus. Okay, ooh, 120 watts. It feels heavy, you can charge this for your laptop, right? A relatively small compared to a you know, typical laptop charger and then the type C, okay, not, no need to take it out. All right, that's uh, basically the unbox. <laughs> Just a second. In case you want to know the Venina version, Note, Redmi Note 12, I was unboxed for you, all right? The Redmi Note 12 comes with a 33 watts charger and that's, uh, and also the chipset is Snapdragon 4 Gen 1 and yeah, for, for more you can just click on that shorts on Gigabank channel, I just put here, all right? Now, moving to the phone. All right, guys, here you have it. And guess just which is the Note 12 Pro and which is the Pro Plus? Just guess, give, give a guess, all right? Obviously, on my right hand is the Pro Plus. You can see the 200 megapixel uh, text there. There's only 50 megapixel on the Pro. And that's, uh, you know, the difference from first glance. All right, let me walk you through the design of the two phones. At the top, we have the 3.5 mm headphone jack, and it was this uh, speaker. And you know what? It has that infrared blaster. That's super, super cool. And move to this side, we have the volume rack and the power key, and we can see the power key was through the fingerprint scanner, right? Oh, moving to the bottom, the speaker type C, and also this, um, uh, SIM card slot here, SIM card 1, SIM card 2 to the 12 Pro Plus, SIM card 1, SIM card 2 does not support SD card expansion. All right, now moving to the back, as we can see, the Pro is totally flat, you know, without any curve. But on the Pro Plus, it has kind of a curved edges there, which makes it feel more uh, comfortable, I guess, but maybe it looks not that premium i don't know but you can just leave your uh, first in, uh, impression on it <laughs> which one is your favorite i personally feel uh, the pro plus is definitely feel better because of this curved edge design right and now let's move to some of the specs of the two so the pro and the pro plus models share like nearly identical specs shared with 6.67 inch OLED displays of full HD plus resolution and 120 hertz rapture rates. Both phones are equipped with the Dimensity 1080 chipset and up to 12 gigs of RAM and 250 gigs of storage, which is not expandable as I showed it before. The Pro Plus has an advantage in the camera department. It's the first Redmi phone with a 200 megapixel camera utilizing Samsung's HPX sensor. Big sensor means better photos, right? Theoretically. The front camera on both phones are 60 megapixel. I mean, looking like an idiot. <laughs> okay, let me just take one. Okay, seems not bad. Not bad. Portrait. Ah, a little bit of beautify is good, huh? And if you're wondering about the videos of the self camera, here you go. Both 
supports up to 10 AB, 60 FPS. But yeah, let me just take this. Ooh, it's stable. Okay, for the camera performance, I'll put to the next video, right? Seems very stable, actually. All right, and uh, let's uh, move to the rear camera. Okay, okay. All right, both phones only support up to 4K, 30 FPS. All right, let me check if it has that stabilization under 4K, 30 FPS. Oh, okay, it doesn't say. Anyway, okay. All right, that's the camera. Now let me uh, give a speaker a listen, all right? Where's the girls dancing? I guess, I guess that's enough, right? That's the Antelope benchmark for this uh, Dimensity 1080, 1080p. I always uh, think it's 1080p or something. <laughs> okay, for this Dimensity 1080. So yeah, this performance is mediocre, as you can see, right? As a low to middle end phone. I think it's all right. You're not going to use like, you know, gaming every day, right? But the temperature seems to control the really, really well. Okay. All right, that's the video. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, right? Just with such low price, they offer so strong specs. That's just unimaginable like several years ago. I wouldn't believe it, you know, several years ago, if you said to me, you can buy these specs with this price. I, I wouldn't believe you, but here it is, right? All right, subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching, I'm Samuel. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. This is another color for the Redmi Note Pro, the blue color. And this is the black color for the Pro Plus. You can see 200 megapixel, but seems very easy to get the fingerprints. That's much, but you will wear a phone case anyway, right?